Let's talk about Google's newest and possibly wildest AI experiment. An AI that does more than answer questions or generate text, it actually uses your computer for you. Yeah, I'm talking about Project Jarvis. Now, if you're thinking, isn't that like Iron Man's Jarvis? You're pretty much on the mark. This is Google's attempt at an AI that doesn't just assist you, but actively takes over the more repetitive tasks right in your browser, Chrome, to be specific. So let's break it down. What exactly is Project Jarvis? Built around Google's new Gemini 2.0 model, Jarvis is designed to be a fully autonomous computer-using agent capable of handling tasks you'd typically manage yourself, like research, booking flights, online shopping, and price comparisons. Unlike traditional models, Gemini 2.0 builds on advanced architectures, such as Transformer and Mixture of Experts, MOE, with smaller expert networks that handle specific input types. This unique setup allows Jarvis to optimize tasks with minimal computational effort, choosing the most relevant pathways for efficient, real-time web automation. But why do we even need an AI to run our web browsers when we already have chatbots and virtual assistants? This new wave of AI agents, which includes competitors like Microsoft's Copilot Vision and Anthropic's Claude AI, is moving beyond text generation to actual task performance. Microsoft's Copilot Vision, for instance, lets users interact directly with web pages, while Apple's Apple Intelligence leverages screen awareness to manage activities across multiple apps. However, Google's Jarvis goes a step further by running seamlessly within Chrome, enabling it to interact with and control the web environment. The core of Jarvis is its ability to interpret commands by visually understanding on-screen elements, like fields, buttons, and navigational links. Combined with a robust context window, now up to 2 million tokens, Jarvis not only comprehends user commands, but retains a long history of dialogue and actions, allowing it to multitask with ease. This capability enables it to tackle complex sequences spanning extensive data sets and multiple web interactions, making it more than just an AI assistant. Let's say you're booking a flight. Rather than manually searching, comparing, and filling out forms, you just tell Jarvis your preferences and it would handle everything. The model can take screenshots, analyze options, and complete forms on your behalf. Although still in testing stages and currently taking a moment between actions, the aim is to eliminate the hassle of managing multiple tabs and windows. Reports suggest Jarvis may debut as early as December, marking a new era of web automation where a single command can replace the time-consuming steps of digital tasks. Interestingly, the buzz around Project Jarvis has tech enthusiasts wondering if this is the beginning of the end for traditional chatbots. Why settle for a text-based assistant when you can have a fully interactive agent that clicks, types, and even reads your screen on your behalf? Google's Jarvis is part of a bigger trend in the tech world where AI assistants are moving from passive helpers to active participants in our online lives. We're looking at a possible post-chatbot world, where digital assistants evolve into fully functioning agents that understand and act on complex instructions. Of course, as promising as this all sounds, it's not without risks. You are literally handing over your personal browsing habits, search preferences, and even credit card details to an AI that's learning as it goes. Privacy concerns are obvious, but there's also the question of control. Once these AI agents become more advanced, will we still be able to manually override decisions and what about security? If a hacker were to get control of an AI agent, they could potentially access a user's entire digital life. The information and other tech sources have highlighted some of these concerns, suggesting that Google will likely keep the initial rollout small and tightly controlled. Only a select group of testers might get to use Jarvis in the beginning, which gives Google time to work out any bugs and strengthen security. All right, now obviously, Google's plans go beyond just helping you book flights or find information. They're also giving a serious boost to AI-powered shopping. Google's transform shopping function is designed to make your searches way more specific and relevant. For instance, if you're in Seattle, typing winter jacket for men, will now mean Google knows it rains a lot, so it'll factor that in and suggest jackets that are waterproof. Google's AI tries to learn your shopping preferences. It keeps a record of what you've searched, what you're interested in, and what you've added to your shortlist. So the next time you open Google's shopping feed, you'll see a personalized list of items that fit your style, location, and even your specific needs, like rain resistance in Seattle. And while this personalized shopping experience sounds convenient, there's no denying that it also raises a few eyebrows on privacy. 
Google's also rolled out an AI try-on feature, so you'll be able to see how a jacket or shirt would look on you without physically trying it on. Google's diffusion-based AI model maps the clothes onto a virtual version of you, letting you try items right from your phone or computer. It's limited to a few brands for now, but it's definitely a big leap forward in the online shopping experience. As AI tools get more advanced, there's been a growing concern about how AI is blending reality and digital manipulation. Google's addressing this issue by adding transparency to AI edited photos. Moving forward, if you or anyone else edits a photo using Google AI tools like the Magic Eraser, Google Photos will label it as edited with Google AI. This label won't appear as a watermark on the photo itself, but will be part of the metadata accessible through the photo's details. Apple's doing something similar with its cleanup feature, labeling photos that have been modified with AI so you know what's been retouched or altered. This transparency is a big step because let's face it, AI edits can be so realistic that it's hard to tell what's genuine and what's not. So this new label lets people know when a photo has been enhanced by AI, even if it doesn't make it glaringly obvious. Now, behind all the tech excitement, there's a massive business angle here too. Hundreds of billions have been poured into AI research and development, and companies like Google need a return on that investment. AI-powered shopping and browsing assistants represent the next evolution in monetizing AI technology. By embedding these agents into everyday tasks, tech giants are aiming for a future where AI is so integrated into our routines that we can't imagine life without it. And that, my friends, is a highly profitable outcome for these companies. Take Microsoft, for example. They've been testing the waters with their own agents, including Power Virtual Agents, which can handle things like sales and customer service. These agents are tailored for specific business needs and have evolved to the point where one person could theoretically manage a whole team of AI agents, driving efficiency to a whole new level. We're at a turning point in AI where our relationship with these technologies is about to get way more personal. We're no longer just using AI to look things up or answer questions, we're giving it the power to act. While it's exciting, there's no question that it'll take some time to fully understand the risks and benefits. From what we've seen, it's clear that Google, Microsoft, Apple, and others are all working toward a future where digital assistants become as common as smartphones. In the meantime, stay tuned as we get closer to December and the potential release of Project Jarvis. This could be one of the biggest AI shifts we've seen in months. So what do you think? Are we ready for Jarvis to take the wheel or are we opening a door we might not be able to close? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe for more on the latest in AI and tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.